love. So I probably look a little haggard right now. I have been filming literally all day. Let me see what time it is. It's 11.38 p.m. and I've been filming probably since like three, two or three. I don't know, that feels like all day because I filmed a lot of videos and I filmed a makeup collection video. So that's what this is right here. It's my face. That looked crazy. But um, I just felt the need to do a quick disclaimer for the video. I just <laughs> I was very reluctant to film this video and it's been requested for a very, very long time since I pretty much started my channel. I've had requests for it and especially lately I've had a lot of requests so I decided to finally film it because so many people wanted to see it. I just wanted to put the disclaimer that, you know, I'm not doing this to brag in any way at all. I realize that a lot of people don't need this much makeup. I don't need this much makeup but a lot of the makeup that I do have I have purchased and I do purchase makeup for the purpose of making videos. Therefore I have a lot more makeup than the average person should have. Not that I'm saying that I have like a ton. There are many other beauty vloggers on YouTube that have a lot more makeup than I do and that's totally fine. This is just what I have now and I have gone through it and I have thrown away anything that is expired or I don't need anymore. There are a few things that I have kept mostly just powder products of like eyeshadows and stuff that are probably past their date but this still work so good you know you can sanitize all of that and some of its nostalgia and stuff like that also what do you guys think of this view do you like seeing the vanity in the background i've never done that before this is weird only doing this because it's been requested so many times and i love you guys so much and i want to make videos that you want to see i have been doing videos for on youtube for a little over two years now so that's a long time it's a lot of makeup accumulated in that time i also watch a lot of youtube so i buy a lot of things that i don't need anyway that's enough rambling. Let's get on to the collection video and I hope you guys enjoy. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did. I would really appreciate it and I love you guys so much. Okay loves, so we are going to try and film this makeup collection. This is my vanity top. As you can see there's my vanity mirror. So we're going to go through all of the stuff that's on top of the vanity before we go to the drawers underneath. And you can kind of see down here I have an extra set of drawers because there is one right there and one over there and then there's that extra one that I slid underneath that was not part of the Ikea like vanity set thing that I got so anyway let's get into this all right so we're gonna start with this container that I have up here this is where I house most of my color pop stuff so you can see I have all of my lippy sticks well not all of them but a lot of them in this little guy I got this guy at Ikea and then I have more of them back here and then more lippy sticks lippy pencils got some random stuff up in here and these are most of my most used palettes first my shade and light palette and then there is a mac palette my anastasia shadows my single shadows that i love so much and then these two are my makeup geek shadows and back here are coastal scent shadows in a very dirty case don't mind that and then up here we just have a naked basics normally the Original is right next to it, but right now there's just the two chilling in there. Um, a couple Sigma palettes. I love these palettes so much. The Venus palette is back. And then I have this little palette of just some shadows from Buxom. They're new single shadows. Unzip palette back here. And two of those little Makeup Forever Artist palettes. And this Baby Mac palette. And then this one from Mimi Box back here. This top one, this is all of my Ultra Matte Lips hanging out in here. This is my lighter neutral drawer of ColourPop shadows and then we have the darker neutrals down here and I have this little guy and I haven't done a video on it yet, so I just kept it in the box so I can do a video on it at some point hopefully if you guys still want to see that it's been a while and then my brights are down here so it's all of my brighter colored ColourPop shadows. I have the fall one over in this little guy right here because I still want to film a video um, tutorial on them and I don't want to get them all mixed up so I just put them in a little container and set them to the side with an eyelash curler for some reason. Um, all of my bronzers and highlighters and blushes from ColourPop are all in here. I also, and then over here, I just have a lot of brushes. All of these guys came from Ikea. So any of the ones that look like this in the, I think the plant section. So these are all Ikea. And then these little ones came from Daiso. And then these are just a bunch of little like makeup sponges. All different shapes that came in a pack at Daiso as well. So I'm just like, I'm just gonna put them all in here because I don't know what to do. So that's that. I decided to just move this guy over so it was easier for you guys to see. Um, I just got the new strobing set from the Pop, so I haven't put that away yet. Okay, I'm a super shaky person, so hopefully this doesn't drive you crazy. But this is um, the original beauty box, and on the top here I just have a whole bunch of pigments and shadows 
that I love. These are one of the ones that I love, my favorite wood shades. So these are all in here. I want to make a few pigments, all of my favorites. We're gonna stuff in there some glitters from Lit, some more matte pigments, and then I have single shadows that I own. And then just like a single NARS shadow and some Makeup Forever shadows in. I haven't even used these, but I wanted to put them somewhere that I would see them so I can use them. Just a bunch of other stuff in here. This drawer has all of my go-to MAC shadows in it. So a lot of neutrals and ones that I reach for all the time or the super glittery ones like brown script, all the ones that I use the most. The best pigments are also in here too. And then over here, there are some pigments from various like indie companies that I need to try. This one is 31 West. So those are in there. And then I ordered a ton of the Starcrush Minerals because they have so many amazing glitter colors and pigment shades. And then here I just have some of my more used lip products. So ones that I reach for often and stuck in here. Of the Freedom Single Shadows and Makeup Revolution Single Shadows are just coming out here. And some Makeup Revolution pigments. I just made them all a mess. So I think that's everything on the desk. Alright guys, so this is the top drawer on the left hand side. It's a little bit crazy right now because it's kind of overflowing. I thought I could fit all of this stuff in here, but apparently I cannot. So up here, up here I just have a bunch of lip balms and some random stuff. It's mostly lip balms. I don't know why my rapid lash is in here, but it's chilling, so that's cool. Some hand sanitizer just because why not? Uh, I have a bunch of makeup setting sprays in this front guy, but primers have creeped up in there because they do not fit in a little container right now. And then this little container right here is from Daiso. This container right here, these little pull out things, they do come out. These are from Amazon and they come in packs of three for I think like $8 or something like that. So super helpful. They're in most of my drawers. So setting sprays are supposed to be here and then primers are back here. So just a bunch of Random primers, so all of those back there. Here's a whole bunch. Drugstore and high-end, all different. So I won't go through every single one. Right here is a bunch of concealers. So again, they're all mixed together. Nothing is really separated. So there's drugstore and high-end in here. And then this is a bunch of mini primers that I've gotten like in beauty boxes or as free samples through Sephora. So all of those are hanging out right up here. And then there's a couple little eye creams and some moisturizers back here too. But yeah, so that's what's in the top All right. So this is the next drawer, and this is where I keep all of my foundations. Up front here, I have the ones that are brand new and I haven't really used yet, or backup. So then there's just a bunch of drugstore foundations. So yeah, you can see what's in here. I don't really need to list them all. And then the more high-end ones are back here. Like here's the MAC Full Coverage, MAC, Giorgio Armani, NARS, Kat Von D, Bare Minerals, Tarte, all that jazz. And then a lot of tube ones, they just fit nicely in here, so I just put them all in here. Back here are a bunch of loose setting powders. So there's some little guys from like Bare Minerals right here. And Too Faced, just little sample guys, Makeup Forever. And then there's a NARS powder hanging out down there. And here's just like the e.l.f. under eye setting powder. So that's what's in that drawer. And this is the next drawer. This is the bronzer and highlight drawer. So you can see there's a bunch of bronzer and highlight palettes up front here. So there's like Makeup Revolution highlight palette, shade and light palette, NYX contour kit, some little Makeup Revolution contour and blush palettes, e.l.f. contour kit, more Makeup Revolution, the Too Faced um, Google contour, a NARS powder, and the Anastasia contour kit. So those are all just kind of fit really nicely. Once you get to the third drawer, it gets a little deeper, so it's easier to put pretty much anything in there. And then I have some larger bronzers hanging out right here. And then a couple of Makeup Revolution. This is technically a blush, but it's so shimmery that I use it as a highlight anyway. So I have that guy in here. And then there's just another highlighter. It's just random everything. Here's a bunch more highlighters. Clearly not all of my Becca ones are in here because I have Champagne Pop and Moonstone in my makeup bag, my everyday makeup bag. So a lot of my everyday stuff is not in here. But these are just where I, where I keep them when they're not in my everyday makeup bag. So then a lot of bronzers on this side. So just some random ones. There's a Model Company one, Jean, Lorac, my Ciate ones, MAC, and Sonia Kasha, the Balm. And then some, there's even some little tiny guys right back there. And then these are all highlighters. So there are just some powder highlighters, some loose ones, some Victoria's Secret. There's Becca. Freedom, MAC, Stila, Mary Luminizer, it's Kevin Aquan powder that I haven't even used, but Jack Van Hill told me I needed it, so I needed it. So that's hanging out back here. And then a Physicians Formula 1, 
and a friggy one. And then there are some liquid luminizers over here and some little baby guys in here. Lots of minis and stick highlighters, the MAC Prep and Prime, the Becca liquid ones. Big contour stick hanging out in there too. Not just more little guys, little highlighters, and liquid highlighters and stuff. So that's what's in that drawer. Okay, and the next drawer is the blush drawer. There are some sets up here. The Benefit kit from last year. The MAC blush palette that I put together right there. And then I have these are Makeup Revolution. These are Makeup Revolution. These little guys are Makeup Revolution. These ones are all of the Freedom. How cute are these? I don't even want to use them because they're so cute. The Pro Glows. So those are there. Some blushes that I just got in beauty boxes. And then there's a bunch of these are Freedom blushes as well. Then over here are my MAC blushes. So those are all hanging out in there with a NYX one. There's some NARS blush. It's all MAC. There's a beauty powder back here. And then there's a Tarte blush and some Maybelline. Beige Cosmetics. Milani. Milani, Milani, Milani. Love Milani blushes. Here's a little e.l.f. one. And then there's some Becca ones. Love these blushes so much. They are so expensive though. Uh, let's see. A NYX blush right here. These should be together. And a Maybelline one, which should be over here. <laughs> Baby NARS one. And just some cheek tint, too. And this is one of my false lash drawers. This is the first one. This one has all the ones that I wear the most often. So all of my Kara lashes that I wear all the time. There's a couple little false lash cases hanging out down here. Some Vegas Nay little ones, House of Lashes, Coco Lashes, and some Katy Perry ones back there. These little guys I found at Target in the dollar section. So just a bunch of lashes and other allure ones hanging out in that back one. And there's just some shadow shields and then some lash glue down there. Okay, so this set is a little different. These drawers came from Amazon. I'm not sure what the brand was again, but they are supposed to be just like the Ikea drawers, but they are definitely shaped the opposite way. They are wider so these little guys have to fit in there sideways and they just fit. I'm, you have to like snug put um, something on the side if you want something else in there. This is just the Makeup Revolution brow palette so I just put that in there to be near my other brow stuff. So right here this is a bunch of eye primers, neutral eye primers, glitter glues, anything, MAC paint pot, there are Maybelline color tattoos, there the LA Splash, adhesive, Urban Decay anti-aging primer potion. So any of the neutral ones that I could use pretty much any day for any look, those are right here. And then this is just a MAC uh, mixing medium to make eyeliners. This is just brow products over here. So cream products and brow gels, all of that jazz. So these are all brow pencils. So some Anastasia little brow powders are hanging out right there and more brow pencils. These do, you can pull these out a little bit so it makes it a little easier. So you can see back here, these are all of my colored color tattoos. So anything that has a color to it. All right, so this is the next drawer. So a lot of mascaras in here, a bunch of minis and the full size ones. And I actually went through here not very long at all and just threw away all the ones that were dried out. So those are no longer in here, but these are all ones that I need to try out that's taken out of the boxes or ones that I am currently using, even though I always seem to be using my MAC Giggle Black Extended Play. <laughs> and then this is all gel liners, Mica One, Kaylin, It Cosmetics, um, just some more gel liners. Hang out to here, some pencil sharpeners, a lash guard. This is Urban Decay Perversion. And then these are all black or pretty much black uh, pencil liners. And these are black liquid liners or close to black. They're more like neutral liners that I could use pretty much any day. Back there are just brown liners and brown uh, toned ones. So browns, burgundies, taupes. Those are all in that guy right there. Okay, so this next drawer. So these are all like blue tone and green and yellow liners. And then these are more like nude ones. This guy's in the wrong place. Nude liners or green or purple. Next milk. And then so these are just a bunch of glitters and stuff that I didn't really know where to put. Oh, loose glitters, glitter liners. Back here, just all of the colored liquid liners. So any liquid liner that is not black. And this drawer is kind of random. It's a bunch of unopened products or products that I want to try that are just still in the packages. So there's a bunch of mascaras that are still in the package over here. 
So I just keep those down here because I don't want to open them yet because I clearly have enough already opened. And this is just a self tanner that came in a beauty box that I have been debating trying, but now we're going into winter, so I might not. I don't know. Well, it's an eyeshadow and a blush from Shea Moisture that I haven't tried yet, so I kept it down there. Um, some Mac Cosmetics CC Plus I, and then some makeup removers in here. And then back there are just a bunch of uh, <laughs> perfume samples. Whenever Daisy is an option, clearly I go for it. So that's what's in that drawer. This guy down here, this is just a bunch of hair products that I haven't used yet. A lot of these came in beauty boxes or just little samples. I had way too many hanging out in my bathroom, so I decided to dedicate this drawer to backups. And then this is the top drawer on the right-hand side of the Alex drawers, and this is just some random palettes. And let's see, all oh, my Lime Crime old school ones, an e.l.f. palette that I need to try. And my Sugar Pill palettes are in there as well. Real the palettes right there. These are from the Divergent set. The Makeup by Mandy palette from BH Cosmetics, which is clearly very loved. The nudes from Maybelline, the blush nudes. The Revealed and the Revealed 2 palette. It's Judy Time, a random Maybelline eyeshadow palette. And then just like a little NARS palette too that's just hanging out in there because it had no other home. So this is the next drawer. This is a bunch of pigments. So you can see all my sugar pill pigments, some It Cosmetics trios, Milani shadows, some Makeup Forever shadows down here, sugar pill pigments, some Benefit, some little Essence shadows too. Over in there are more Milani shadows back here as you can see. Some NYX shadows, there's an old Makeup Forever shadow, NARS, these are all, most of these are e.l.f. pigments. More little e.l.f. long-lasting lustrous eyeshadows, some super old-school Urban Decay shadows. Back here are some Ben Nye shadows as well, Deuces Makeup. These are all Revlon Diamond Lust, so all of the shades of that, some hard candy ones. This is a bunch of Essence ones mostly. Okay, and this is my MAC drawer. I have not gotten around to depotting any of my shadows. MAC was the first makeup company that I really got really into and got really into makeup, so I have a lot of the single shadows that I've collected over time and so I need to depot them at some point but until then they are all right here and then my most used ones are sitting in my original beauty box so I have the ones that I use the most um, really accessible and then the rest of them go right in here and there are some pigments these are mostly from holiday collections and special collections they are the crushed metallic pigments quads more pigments some of the larger shadows the pro shadows and the mineralized ones and then there are these Marilyn Monroe ones back here that I don't even think that I've used and I just kept them in the box because I don't know why not. And these are a bunch of mini pigments and little pigment samples. A lot of these are just like little vials. Cutest packaging of life. Like so cute. So all of those are just hanging yeah, out right there. And then this next drawer are more lashes. A lot of these are either super cheap lashes that I don't really wear very often or ones that are a little more dramatic that are more for Halloween. I want to keep them in my basic lash drawer, so like there are some leopard ones. These are bat wing ones and I think spider ones. Yes, so I'm saving these ones for Halloween. And the bottom drawer is just more lashes, <laughs> just a few. More Model 21 lashes because I was obsessed with those for quite some time, so I have a lot of them. And I've already gotten rid of a ton of lashes that I need to get rid of, obviously. A whole bunch more because I never wear the ones that are in these drawers, so they're just hanging out in here until I figure out what I'm doing with them. But there are some Halloween lashes and stuff in there, more dramatic ones that I'm just hanging on to until Halloween. Super dramatic ones from NYX down here as well. And then this is just where I sit right behind me. So this is the top of my white shelf unit. The shelf unit came from Ikea. And then this is just a nail polish rack that I found on Amazon. Let's see, and then we have the palettes that also sit right behind me, and then these little, they're being held in, these were on Amazon as well, and I just searched letter organizer, and they came up, and I thought they would be really great to organize palettes in, so they can stand up straight. So I just have some of my favorite palettes back here, so you can see all the naked palettes, the Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette, Forever Nude from BH Cosmetics. And then you can see there are the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes and some other Too Faced palettes, all of the Makeup Revolution chocolate palettes. I have Lorac Pro, Lorac Mega Pro, and then an Urban Decay palette and my Inglot single shadows that are in a little guy right here. So I just picked some random ones and some of my favorites to put back there just so it looked cute right behind me. And then back here I have my lipstick organizer and it just spins. This guy is from Lady Moss Beauty. 
And I picked this one over the Zara Beauty one because it holds more. This one holds 116 and just has a lot of my favorite lipsticks in here and my favorite lip glosses. I love these Buxom and glasses so much. They are my absolute favorite. And then some Anastasia and some Too Faced up there. Mm -hmm. I actually get a lot of questions on my glittery skulls that I have in the background and those are all from Target from last Halloween in their dollar section. I think they were three dollars but they were like up front where all the dollar stuff is. So definitely a great find. Hopefully they will have them again this year. And luckily we're coming into Halloween very soon. So definitely check Target if you are looking for those. And now we're getting into this drawer set. This is the last one. This is the one that sits behind me. Nine drawers. And it's one of the Alex drawer sets from Ikea as well. These drawers are a little different than the ones that are with the vanity. Those ones seem a little bit wider than these ones are. but And they don't pull out. But I will show you that right now. Right, these first couple drawers are a little bit too high. So I'm going to have to hold the camera. So if it's super shaky, I'm sorry. But so this is the first drawer. These are again those organizers from Amazon. So in here I just have all of my... These are all just like stick lip products like Buxom and these Revlon. These are just random. These are mostly little tart guys. And back here are just some wet and wild lipsticks hanging out. And then these are just some lip liners and some older Urban Decay lipsticks in that old packaging that just do not fit into anything because they're so bulky. Okay, and this is the second drawer. This has all of my, well not all of them, but most of my liquid lipsticks in here. And there's some Kat Von D ones right here. And then there's some CRK ones. These ones are from Milani. They were limited edition, but they are so good. So I'm holding on to those guys. And then some Lime Crime Velveteens right there. The only thing that stinks about these drawers is they don't pull out. You can't, well not at all. So if I want to get to the back, I have to like pull out the actual thing. So these are all just like mini lipsticks that came in sets or were for gifts or something like that. They're all just like little baby lipsticks. And then I have, these are more, these are lip stains. And then there's more like liquid lipsticks in this little one and some glosses. They're all super pigmented glosses that are pretty much lipsticks as well. So here are all the glosses. So I had to buy this lip gloss because it is in the shade Shannon. So I needed it, clearly. And then it's just a bunch of other lip glosses in here. In this back one, this is where there's just a bunch of other little mini lip glosses. So these are the mini lipsticks and these are the mini lip glosses. That's where those stay. Okay, and this is the third drawer. And in here I have all of my WOW glosses. These little containers are from Daiso. So you can find them there. And then lip paints and lip tars back here. And this one is from JCat Beauty. So anything that's just like in a tube, if that makes sense. And then these are all Makeup Revolution lipsticks and lip hugs for Makeup Revolution. And these are just random lipsticks that didn't really fit anywhere else that were too big or too short for the Lady Must Beauty lipstick spinner because some of the lipsticks, if they're not long enough, they get stuck down in the little compartments and I can't get them out. So like this one was stuck in there, it dropped me crazy. So they are just in here now. There's an e.l.f. one, just a bunch of randomness. Some from Beauty Boxes and this one I think is a long comb one. And then these are all of the Pro Melts from Freedom and Make Revolution lip lacquers and matte lipsticks. So those are all in there. And back here are all of my Freedom lipsticks. And these fit really nicely in these little containers as well. All right, this is the fourth drawer down, and this is a bunch of smaller palettes, like the Wet n Wild palettes, a bunch of Sleek palettes, um, some little <laughs> more Wet n Wild, some Maybelline, Bobbi Brown, Laura Geller, some little Lancome palettes, and just a bunch of random ones. There's a lot of Wet n Wild, a lot of NYX, and Elf. Lorac, 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 um, more NYX, a steel one, more NYX, this one's a little Anastasia one. And this drawer probably surprises no one, this is all of my Makeup Revolution palettes. They get their own drawer, so there's a little Freedom Guy, which is pretty much the exact same as Makeup Revolution, as you guys probably know. So there's just some other ones. Uh, Unicorn Tonight, Girl Panic, Girls on Film, all of the Obsession palettes, Mermaids Forever, Affirmation, Beyond Flawless, a couple of the Go palettes. This is the Flawless and the Flawless Matte. These are the iconic ones that are dupes of the Naked palettes. The iconic Pro 1 and 2 is hanging out in there. Drawer down. And this is my most used palette drawer. So all the palettes that I use the most normally because this is right next to me when I'm filming. I put them all in here. Pretty much all of my favorites. So I have all of my Anastasia ones right here. As you can see. 
Let's see, the Amrezi palette, my Mia palette, Tamana palette, Lavish palette, Artist palette. I have the Shadow Couture one in my makeup bag, so it's not in here. And then I have the Full Exposure palette from Smashbox, the Double Exposure, the It Cosmetics, Naturally Pretty, the Revealed 3. This one's in here because I haven't used it yet. So then there's the Tartlet palette. This guy from Stila. This is a Ben Nye palette. Super, super pigmented, amazing shadow. So that guy's in here. I love using this one around Halloween. This is a Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. Another Tarte palette. Uh, the Balm Nude Tude palette. Kat Von D, Kat Von D, Kat Von D. MAC pigment sets from last holiday that I haven't even opened, which will probably go in the MAC drawer, but they're in here right now. And this packaging is so cute that I don't want to get rid of it. And that guy. And there's another MAC kit from the year before that's still in its packaging as well. And then I have three Morphe palettes back here and another Kat Von D one. Let's see, I have, of course, the Jaclyn Hill palette is back here. 35 Warm and the 35O is also back here, which I need to do a tutorial on very, very soon for fall. So a lot of Urban Decay palettes in here and a lot of Too Faced. I think it's all Urban Decay or Too Faced, so. Last palette, all of the Vice palettes are in here. There's Book of Shadows, there's Smoky palette palette, all of these little guys, the black palette, which is super loved, the cat eyes palette from Too Faced, the romantic eyes palette, these little Be Married, Be Bright palettes, and a couple of their holiday ones are under there as well. A few of my favorite things, and this guy right here, the sugar and spice. Alright guys, this is the second to the last drawer, and this is all BH Cosmetics and Coastal Scents palettes. A whole bunch of stuff in there, a lot of the 88 palettes, the 120 palettes, uh, party Bin palette, Pink one, Coastal Sense, the Creative Me, Forever Glam, Forever Smoky, the Coastal Sense Smoky Palette, Social Occasion Palette, BH Party Girl Palette. All of those are 88 palettes from either BH Cosmetics or Coastal Sense, and there's an elf palette down at the bottom. <laughs> this is the bottom drawer with a wild on in it. What are you doing? This is all skincare and face masks. I have my favorite face masks in the bathroom, so most of my Glam Glow and my, like my Purity Mask is also in the bathroom and a couple of the Freeman ones. But everything else is down in this drawer. Just a lot of sample size ones <laughs> and some sheet masks. All of these little guys in here. Just do some mini glam glow. Beauty oils are in here. Extra eye creams, all of these little guys. Some more face masks. And this little guy is from 22 Keys. And a subscriber sent that to me. So check out her company. Lots of really nice smelling stuff. And a ton of Freedom masks back in the corner that you can see. Alright guys, so that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a long time coming. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye!